before. Oh god, he's given a penalty away. Right? Why did you give a penalty away, Obono? Why, why, why? Mm -hmm. oh, Ten minutes to go. This is just... I think they've stopped, stopped scoring. We've had 22 shots. Oh god, I said they've stopped scoring. They've got five. This team is really dragging me through the dirt at the moment. Oh god. <laughs> Welcome back to this episode of the West Ham United Directors Challenge here on Big Herb the Nerd. And as you may have got from that tiny little call together intro, I fudged up, guys. I fudged up big time. So I was recording. I came back from a holiday. I was excited about getting back into the Director Challenge. I thought I'd do a transfer special for West Ham and managed to save over the director challenge file that I had meaning that we are back uh, just after we left the Arsenal game so the Crystal Palace Arsenal ep episode episode 60 was the last episode that the autosave recorded before um, yeah going forward so I've kind of had to go back in time but that's it's not a bad thing necessarily it's terrible. I'm really annoyed. It's really pissed me off. Um, so six episodes have kind of gone down the pan. I have got the, the 66th episode waiting to go, which which hope will launch. And that just, just to show that we didn't get fired. I did manage to save it just before I left. Um, but it does mean we've missed all the transfer history and we've missed most of that season. So I'm going to have to change the titles around. I don't know what's going to go on. You'll see it in the, in the description link. So hopefully, if you're watching this in the future... You'll just go on to the, you'll come from 60 straight into this episode and won't know what the hell I'm talking about. There'll be some deleted scenes or some alternate reality. We're going to do like an X-Men. I mean, we were going here, but we've just decided to loop back. Now we're going to start again. We've got something fresh, ready to come back. And really, my objective is to get a bloody trophy or win something before FM18 comes out. So that's the new challenge. So we are back. We're not going to dwell on the past. We are going to come in and I will come back and bring you the Chelsea and Tottenham games. But what I'm going to try and do is have a meeting with the board and get them to change their... What do they call them in this bloody thing? So I'm going to look to try and get them to change their club philosophies. So they love the club philosophies because it's by youth players. So I'm going to have to try and find a way of getting my contract renewed and... Getting those clubs to philosophy change to try and be, get us to keep the plays that we've got. I need to do something to the anyway. But that's going to be a challenge. We're going to be pushing all out for cups now. We need to win something. So I shall see you in a bit for the Chelsea game once I've got myself used to this team, which was the team I had before all the transfers went through. Catch you in a bit. Right, here we are at the Chelsea match. I just played the Norwich and the Leicester game, and we lost both of them. So it's good to see, you know, even restarting, we managed to remain terrible. Problem seems to be defence. The guys are not making stupid mistakes. Two goals against Leicester were both defensive mistakes out on the wings, and balls crossed across, uh, put across the box. Mares tucked it in. Just stupid, stupid mistakes. But we also weren't getting forward enough um, in the Norwich game. We came back, we, we started poorly, then came back, and then they got a 90th minute goal. So, not great. So, you know, today, just take on Chelsea at home, nice and easy. But I've been playing with the tactics, I'll have a look, I'll have a show you. I think I'm going to go for this, the 4-3-3. So, what I was finding is we were having a lot of problem with, the. we've got good um, deep line playmakers, good defensive midfielders, but... Not very, not very good attacking midfielders, uh, which meant that these guys were getting stuck. Or there was just a big mass of uh, midfielders in the centre of the park, and they were just running into each other, weren't getting the ball out. So what we've gone for is attacking fullbacks. These guys being the outlet for the crosses. So Bree and Mittelstadt getting forward. That I've got the team on uh, cross hit early crosses. So these guys won't get too far forward. They'll put the ball in. You've got three strikers to aim for. I've also then gone for a complete mix-up of central midfield positions. So we've got Mbeo, who loves that box-to-box -box midfield role. Viveros as the deep line playmaker on defend. And then Caporali have dropped back as a central midfielder and put him on advanced playmaker attack. So these guys should be performing different roles. 
it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how it goes with the fullbacks getting forward and whether with Viveros dropping back three central defenders is enough. We'll have a see. Chelsea's going to be a good test of that. But that then should mean that getting forward and Bayo and Caporali provides us support. And then the strikers. I don't want to change any of their roles up at the moment. I'm going for the complete forwards. Two supports, one attack. Previous game, I played two attack, one support. And they were distant too far away. Dolbo couldn't come back and get the ball. He was the one on support. So now we're going to sw switch that. Actually, I will switch Joel Linton into the attacking role. Dolberg in the support role. So then again, hoping that these uh, complete forwards drop in and come and get the ball from these guys. Instruction-wise, we're going to play on counter. We're going to play slightly higher. So we're pressing the ball. That We haven't been beating with balls over the top. We're hoping that will remain the case. But then we're playing higher up the pitch on a higher tempo. We're going to get the ball. We're going to play more direct passing. We're going to hit the crosses early. We're going to exploit the guys in the middle. I've also got to get stuck in and use tight marking because I just want them to, again, push, get the ball. Closing down, I'm going to leave on sometimes. I didn't want to push it up to more because we're already on slightly higher, which, which does that anyway. But we're going to go with that. So I've made a couple of changes from what well, each game actually so i need to settle and be happy with one i think this is the one three strikers will hopefully give us that chance to get some goals but there's only one way to find out so let's get in and have a go against chelsea i thought it was a cup then this is two games today so we're down in 18th this is our game in hand we need a win to get us out of the relegation zone as this series could be i could be in trouble earlier than the previous episodes there is a change of tactic. There's a subtle tweaks, right? So they'll end up with a 4-2-3-1, but with the two defensive midfielders. They mean very heavily defensive. So it's good that we've got the three strikers there, then that will disrupt. And it's just whether we can use Bree and Mithrilstadt to get those crosses in, or whether we actually might need them to drop. We could get caught out if they've got the wingers there. But we'll see. Well, we, we will see. I'm going to play on... Extended highlights. So we can tweak the tactics throughout the game then and see what's going on. And we will only bring this game for this episode as like a restart to the series. Um, and also, yeah, the extended highlights make the games go on a bit longer. So you can see what I do when I'm trying to change the tactics. Uh, we have a bit on a bad word. Like, let's go for that. Ooh. Let's go for a bit of faith, shall we? Uh, so if I have faith. Go out there and make a difference. Someone scored some goals. So the game gets underway. We are at home. So let's see how that plays out. The assistant keeps telling us to go for our control, but I don't like the control. Not the way we've been playing at the moment. I'd rather try and hit on the break. That was offside, not a penalty. That's good. But the game gets underway. First highlights out of the way. Let's see how these stats start rolling in. First highlight. Ball out wide. We have to watch for that. Oscar in the middle. Bernard. Oh, Derry makes a save. We may have to watch those wingers because they could really cause us problems if they get behind the fullbacks every single time. Kartovic is clear. Right, so is on the ball. Out to Dolberg. We're pushing forward now. This is looking good. Dolberg. Ah! Can't he close that down? Oh, Derry. Right, out to Mittelstadt. And Bayo. Caporali. Right, there's more space now. Dolberg. Joel Linton. This is nice football. Can he lay it off? He can't. Danilo, oh, Danilo's been sent off. 11 minutes in, they're down for 10 men. Now, can we capitalise? Oh, they've just taken a, a winger off. Bree, Dolberg, Capra, oh, that was terrible. Oh, and Sosa's put the ball in. 1-0. Come on. Chelsea down to 10 men. Capra, that shot was terrible. But we managed to take it. Sosa takes a touch, comes inside, and there we go. Smashes it past the keeper. One shot, one goal. So are they going to leave it with... Are they just going to leave that one side empty? Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, highlight again. Is this going to be a West Ham? It looks like it is. Mithrasht out on the wing. Puts a terrible ball in. Oh, is it going to be a counter? Oh, I hope it's not. Aspilogeta. Ah, oh, Caporali is great there. Dolberg. Runs into his man. Caporali and Bayo outside. Mithrastat. Oh, you don't want your left back shooting. Our fullbacks aren't <laughs> aren't the best for this attacking role. But I need him now. I've got no width. I've got no winger. So 
I was going for that to provide some width to our formation. We also struggle with our central midfielders who aren't very good at long shots, and Bayo being one of them. Sosa puts the ball in here, Mithrastat out to Viveros, gives Sosa a second chance. Third chance, Caporali. Sosa shoots but misses by a mile. Yeah, the central midfielders, their long shooting ain't no good. Corner again to West Ham. I wish I'd worked on the uh, corner tactic because I've left it as it was. Count on the. Oh, God, a count coming up now. Isla. Oh, what? <laughs> Never. So he just run the full length of the pitch. And slotted it across. And Oscar just put it away. And he ran down the right-hand side. The one with no winger there. So that's, I mean, this game sometimes, eh? This game. And Bayo on the ball, right, can we build? Full Caporali, use the wit, he's done it. Bree, can he put a ball in? He can. No one's there to head up. Ah! Oh. I wonder if we're putting shoot on sight is worth it. We're still taking long shots though. Caporali, Mittelstadt. Caporali. Oh, Caporali with a long shot outside the box. West Ham is up to 17th. We're back in the lead. How do we keep hold of this now? Mittelstadt with the ball here. Tucks it outside, Caporelli takes a touch, had time, and just slots it away. I mean, that goal, it looked like goalie could have got that there. Joel Linton not having a good game. Strikers again having a good game. I've got Ben Wagstaff on the bench. Sosa here. Fires it at Dolberg rather than passing it. And that breaks down. Courtois. Salve the header. Oh, not picked up. Can we close it down? Let's look at that. Bernard. Malchev plays the ball over the top. Carter Vickers clears that. Or daring. Right, can we build up from here? Mitterstadt plays inside. Caporali into Linton. And again, into Dolberg. Oh, Caporali's pulling the strings here. Joel Linton doesn't get that header on target. So one of the strikers is going to get subbed at <laughs> half time, I reckon. Oh! As I say that, so's a lazy in Joel Linton and he puts the ball away. 3 1. I should threaten them with substitutions more often. And Bayo here picks up the ball, lays it into Souza, turns it around the corner. Joel Linton on his left peg, fires it past Courtois. West Ham 3, Chelsea 1. And that makes half time. They've all bucked up the performances now, haven't they? Souza with goal and assist. Joel Linton with a goal. Assist coming from Bayo and a goal from Caporelli. This is good. Right, how do we keep this? Uh, 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 uh. The morale's not too bad. I'm going to go for don't get complacent. That seemed to have worked. Because the morale was terrible prior to coming to this one, but a rival win will turn that around very quickly. Mitterstadt on the ball here gets fouled by Christensen, and we've got a free kick. Viveros will put this one in. And it hits the mass. Caporelli, will he make it? He does. Bree on the ball. Into Joel Linton, Viveros, and Bayo tucks inside, so oh, Courtois. Right, I'm going to flick this onto Key now. Now we're winning. Feel more confident. Dolberg's the one not having a good, great game at the moment. I'm looking to make a sub in about four or five minutes. Keeps getting a shout out of the game. Use, he's going oh, to use Bree, and Bayo, he's going to shoot, isn't he? Courtois makes a save. I'm very wary that Viveros may well be leaving. He obviously left previously in the um, transfer window. What transfer window would it be? Is it the summer one? But yeah, previously he left. I mean, there's some interest coming already in the market, so I'm kind of preparing myself to not have Viveros. Uh, Dolberg. Right, let's put Wagstaff on. I've got that. I've got Halit Tuffin who can sit in that role as well. So I'm just going to rotate those two until we get to the uh, transfer window being open, and see if we lose Viveros the same way we did before. I imagine we will do. Right, Chelsea come at us now. Isla, he is a bit of a beast, isn't he? Christensen, a great tackle by Mittelstadt into Joel Linton. Big boy over top to Dolberg. Can he get a goal? He can't. That's why he's being subbed. One on one. Wow, Chelsea have taken out all of their central midfielders. 
should play into our formation actually for playing straight through the middle. Caporelli gets taken. Isla, look at him go. How are we going to get rid of him? I'll have to put an instruction on. Christensen puts the ball in. Oh, we managed to clear that one. Uh, target opposition play out. All right. Tight marking, closing down, hard tackling. As he puts the ball in here, Bree clears. Wagstaff just didn't go for that. Should have. Well, we've got 20 minutes left. Favero's on the ball into Caporali. Big ball. Joel Linton heads on. Souza pounces on the mistake by Laporta there. 4 1. Oh yes. This is exactly what we needed. I was worrying. I thought I was going to get fired. Caporali here. Big ball. Joel Linton heads on. Look at that. Fluffs it and Souza straight in there. Good to see. Two goals and assists from Souza. The 4 3 3 appears to be paying off. Right. Chelsea on the ball now. Mittelstadt. I mean, I am aware that they only have 10 men, but still. Souza, Joe Linton. Ah. Oh, could have made it five. 10 minutes to go, or just over 10 minutes to go. We seem to be playing extremely sexy football. Look at this. Spraying the ball around. Bree, Wagstaff, loses the ball. Caporelli doesn't make it. Isla is going to run at people. Ah, oh, Cart Figures makes a brilliant tackle there. Stop getting out to Isla, jeez. Told you, mark him up. Christensen here. Mittelstadt. Oh, no. Mittelstadt's going to get sent off. Boop. Second in a car for Mittelstadt. Maximilian. Right, let's make that change in. So let's bring off... Let's bring off Joel. Let's put on Jordan Williams and let's put him in at left back. See out the last 10 minutes. Could really switch him off attack, but I can't be bothered. Wagstaff puts a terrible crossing. Is on the ball now. Can we stop him? Can we stop him? Yes. Shooting from long range. That's what we want to see. Chelsea go attacking. Playing a 4 3 2 now. Oh, look at them. They're shifting it all over the place. You've got to get three goals. It's not going to happen. Blow the whistle there, ref. Come on. And there we go. End of the game. West Ham United 4, Chelsea 1. What a comeback episode to bring you guys. Passionate. I'm very proud. That was really special. Oh, yes. Great result. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there we go, 17th. Gives us just eight points. Two wins, two losses, uh, two draws, sorry, six losses in our first 10 games. That is not good. Not at all. So yeah, we will be seeing what happens on the run up to the January transfer window when we know we will be losing some of our biggest players because that's what happened last time. Let's have a look at the schedule. So we will probably come back for, what is a Tottenham game there? I might. Play the EFL Cup game. And we'll come back for Tottenham. Maybe Tottenham-Watford. Pick some of the smaller teams. Oh, I don't want to keep playing the big teams. Especially when we're down the bottom. And then we'll see what happens with the EFL Cup. EFL Cup hopefully. Court final against Coventry will get through. And we'll be playing the semi-finals as live comms going forward. Because we do need one of those cups under our belt. I want to win one thing before FM18 comes out. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Apologies again for the muck-up. And we have gone back in time. But we are going to attack this hard from now until the end of FM17. And we'll be upping back to three episodes a week. So you've got that to look forward to. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.